one of the characteristics of inspiring people is that they leave an impression of authenticity and you will never confuse them with anyone else. Fashion fundi Roshan Isaacs, who can be described as soulful, inspiring and modest, stresses the importance of identifying your individual style. And she shared her ideas with me on how to project a look that reflects the real you. As the MD of a leading fashion network on the African continent, Roshan Isaacs is a perfectionist. But she also believes in the power of partnership. Creating a look is a team-driven process and she plays the role of a guide in developing a personal style. Friends come and go, but personal style never goes out of fashion. Roshan, welcome back to Mela. Thanks for having me, Karishma. Roshan, how would you describe personal style? Personal style is a reflection of who you are. So it's how you want to represent yourself to the world. So a lot of us sometimes worry too much about the face value and about how we're putting ourselves together. That sometimes we worry about too much, that it looks too perfect or totally messed up. So if we worry about the intrinsic value and how we want to be perceived by everyone, that is when your personal styling comes in. Why do you think developing personal style is so important? A lot of us are too scared to actually show who we are, to play with colors and shapes and all those sorts of things. And some of us are shy. We aren't able to project ourselves vocally. So what it represents to someone else that we meet for the first time, that needs to tell someone a story in the first instance. Would you mind taking me through some of the do's and don'ts of developing a personal style? Number one would be don't wear clothes that is not your size. The other uh, don't as well is when you're passing a retail store and you see the mannequin and you think, oh my gosh, that outfit is so amazing. It doesn't mean it's going to look amazing on you. Always see what it looks like, how it's going to fit on you. Because many a times we actually go home, wasted our money on something we might not wear again. I think I want to demonstrate, going to show you how you can actually wear this in many ways. Similar to the one I have on, you could literally just pull it together. You could wear it with a costume underneath. You could wear it out and about with a little heel on. Another way you can wear this, simply leaving it loose. Now, again, depending on your shape, either do a Japanese style belt, and you can wear this with jeans. And another way you can wear this, because sometimes we don't want to accentuate our waist, and that is when we perhaps play with the neck, and we do a little collar, and there you go. I do have another one. That is you're just using this as a headband. I love the bows and just leaving it completely loose. And there we go. So let's get you back to normal. So that is just a few ways you can style just one garment. I love working with local designers and perfectly colored for you. Ta-da! Oh wow, Karishma, you look absolutely stunning. How do you feel? I feel absolutely amazing. If you had to change or add something, a piece of accessory to your garment, what do you think you would choose? Well, I do love some gold, but I also love a little pop of colour. And I'm going to go with those ones, I think, because they might bring out a little bit of these colours. You've actually selected these earrings, which has a touch of these colours in the actual garment. Now I'm going to ask you to put these on. Now depending on where you're going and what you're doing, you want to maybe tone it down. This is just an everyday casual look. Now yes, you can literally just put this in, hang this as is, or see the texture, but a belt doesn't also just have to be a belt. I would even just tie it. <laughs> That's interesting. I've never thought of a belt in that way. But now to go with the earrings, if you wanted to dress it up a little bit more, we'll go with the gold. And this again picks up on the whole story. I would even top this with a bag. So now if you're going to do a gold accessory story, you're going to have the bag and the earrings to go. So what I'm picking up is all this colour and the gold basically just gives you that look. Anyone who meets you will immediately get to feel of who you are. You're a woman of opulence, <laughs> your woman wants freedom, your woman loves fun, but I also like to be styled correctly. How would you describe your own personal style? I like to play with prints and colour, as you can see. And then if I'm not playing with colour, I'm playing with texture, as you can see on these garments here the patterns, shapes and textures. Roshan, do you think there's a tendency for us to get caught up in trends and thus lose our sense of personal style? I do feel that it's very important that regardless of trends, 
that within those trends, you identify yourself and you mix and match and you pull things together that really authentically identifies your style as you. Roshan, thank you so much for today. As a strong, powerful woman who I admire so much, would you please give us a message for women? Well, you know, I believe there's no limit to what you can achieve unless you limit yourself. And as women, we limit ourselves to being a mother, to being a daughter, to being a wife, that we forget about ourselves and our individual needs and wants. And I think that women need to focus on their own passions and their own needs and live, really live their life to its fullest.